Almost half of American workers, nearly 60 million people are employed by small businesses in this country. Both candidates are battling for this critical voting block, and at the center of it, taxes. And I've indicated as well that, that uh, uh, contrary to what the Democrats are saying, I'm not going to increase the tax burden on middle-income families. That, that, it would absolutely be wrong to do that. Listen, you've got to do the math because when my opponents were asked about it today, they couldn't. It was like two plus one equals five. That's not bold leadership. That's bad math. Yeah. That gets a failing grade. Jared Bernstein is a senior fellow at the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities and the former chief economist to Vice President Biden and an MSNBC contributor. Steve Caldera is the president and CEO of the International Franchise Association. Good to see both of you this morning. Uh, and Jared, let me start with you. What does the president say to small business owners whose taxes they say would go up and that's going to, they say, force them to cut jobs or stifle uh, hiring? Well, the tax claim is essentially false because uh, the only tax increase the president has proposed is for uh, households above $250,000. Now, there are some businesses who claim their business receipts on their personal income tax, but they're the top 3% of small businesses. So for 97%, that's not the case, and that top three tend to be you know, doctors, lawyers, you know, private equity funds to pull one out of the air uh, tend to be very high-end businesses. I think the, the, the argument here, whether it's the, the president or Governor Romney, is what do small businesses need to succeed? And Steve is very good on this. We're talking about infrastructure. We're talking about a stable tax base. We're talking about an educated workforce. We're talking about credit markets. I think that's really the way to evaluate the two different platforms here. Is there a broader picture here, Steve? Look, 80% of our members are LLCs, they're S-Corps, uh, they're pass-through entities. Um, what does that mean for people out there who don't own small businesses? Well, they, pa they, 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 they pass their income through their business. They file their, um, they file their income uh, through their personal tax returns. Um, and so you've got 80% of uh, uh, small business owners um, that are sitting, um, uh, that, that have to pay um, taxes. Um, uh, so if uh, Jared talks about 3%, and that 3% represents 941,000 businesses. And if the tax cuts aren't extended for all levels, uh, that means 714,000 jobs would be lost immediately. And I think in this economy, uh, every job is critical. Um, so uh, our industry, we have 450 small business owners here this week in Washington, going to take Capitol Hill tomorrow to say the partisan rancor, the negative rhetoric, and the uncertainty around taxes um, is stifling small business growth and it's keeping investors, uh, prospective franchisees, and existing franchisees from expanding their business. And in fact, Jared, a recent mm. survey of small business owners, it was taken, I should say, before the conventions, an overwhelming 61% said they would vote for Mitt Romney over the president. What? Yeah, I, Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I, look, I, I just think what, what Steve just said is, is you know, very partisan and very misleading. Uh, if you actually look at uh, how small business, in fact, if you look at how the franchisees are doing, they're actually improving. They're actually having their best year uh, since before the recession. Now, they're improving too slowly. I grant you that. But the idea that somehow a tax increase back to the, back to the Clinton rate, by the way, on, on those uh, very small percentage of folks at the top is going to, you know, cause hundreds of thousands of job losses is just, uh, you know, I think it's just ludicrous. And I think it completely ignores the fact, and, and businesses will tell you this, we can't keep building on the deficit. We can't just keep growing the deficit, kicking the can down the road, cutting taxes. You know, I'm sorry, but that just doesn't create the kind of environment that businesses actually need. Let me get to one more thing here, because I, I want to ask sure. you, Steve, one of the things I hear from small business owners and that the Romney campaign has talked about is that the health care law really hits small businesses hard. But yesterday, Governor Romney said there were a number of things he liked about the law. If elected, he'd maintain coverage for pre-existing conditions, adults living with their parents. So how critical is this issue to small business owners and their vote? Well, from the franchise industry's perspective, um, you know, it's a disincentivize, it disincentivizes our members to get above that 50 full-time equivalent employee. Either you're forced to provide high, uh, the insurance at, in higher premiums or pay the 2,000 penalty uh, per the employee. Um, you know, we think uh, health insurance is important, uh, but you don't blow up the house to fix the hole in the roof, and that's what happened uh, with this health care law. Remember, this was the bill that we needed to pass before we could figure out what was in it, according to Speaker Pelosi. So does it make um, you nervous when you hear uh, Mitt Romney? 
Romney saying that there are parts of it he would definitely support? Um, look, I think we need to look in totality about the best way to approach comprehensive tax reform. What, what, what are the good elements of the health care law? What are the things that are really going to take away from business, uh, small business communities' uh, growth moving forward? You know, we're looking at 8.1% uh, employment. It went down, but that's because uh, 368,000 people dropped out of the workforce. You're looking yeah. at 23 million unemployed. Um, and look at the 15% uh, are no. underemployed. So, you know, they're this, not 23. This is, this this been a very wrong. difficult, very difficult there, environment for the small business community. There are not 23 million unemployed people. There, there's about 12 million. So let's get that straight. And unfortunately, Look, 23 we're out of time, million. gentlemen. I hope maybe we can okay. continue this another time. Uh, Jared Bernstein, great to see you. Steve Caldera, nice to see you. thank you so thank much you. for coming on.